we welcome viewers from around the globe tuning in to watch this Anzac Day commemorative concert. My name is Staff Sergeant David Few and I am immensely proud to be the bandmaster of the New Zealand Army Band. Each year on the 25th of April we set this day aside to remember and pay tribute to the servicemen and women who served their country, with many having paid the ultimate sacrifice. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we in New Zealand have undertaken ways to pay tribute to those who have gone before us while still staying within the guidelines provided by our government and health officials. This has provided opportunities for innovation. The New Zealand Army Band was formed in 1964 and our predecessors took pride in their pioneering attitude, breaking the mould of what a military band could look and sound like. Over the past 56 years, the band has continued to evolve and innovate and today enjoys a reputation as one of the more agile and versatile military bands in the world. The Anzac Day commemorative concert that you'll see is a mixture of rehearsal footage recorded prior to the nation moving to Alert Level 3, as well as performances recorded from within each individual personal isolation bubble after Level 4 lockdown, using technology to present a program worthy of tribute. To commence our program, the New Zealand Army Band Fan Fed team perform a work especially composed for this Anzac Day event, entitled Kia Maya, Stay Resolute, written by Staff Sergeant Nicholas Johnson. <laughs> From wherever you are, please join in the singing of the national anthems of Australia and New Zealand, performed by Corporal Campbell McKellar and Private Shanalee Etches. <laughs>
The New Zealand Army Band has had the great privilege to represent New Zealand worldwide as ambassadors to this wonderful country of ours. This next work was originally composed as a song for our new arrivals who have made New Zealand home. Loved by all, the song has been performed by the original artist at a number of significant New Zealand Defence Force military ceremonies over the years. For all New Zealanders at home and around the world, Corporal Campbell McKellar and the New Zealand Army Band performed Dave Dobbin's anthem, Welcome Home. In 2005, the New Zealand Army was gifted a song by New Zealand composers Don McLeod and Paul Harris, entitled New Zealand Soldier's Song. 
It reflects the sacrifice all soldiers make in their service to our country and the core values of the New Zealand Defence Force. Courage. Tu kaha. Commitment. Tu tika. Comradeship. Tu tira. And integrity. Tu maya. Here is New Zealand's soldier song recorded in Burnham Military Camp by the New Zealand Army Band prior to lockdown. Born proud of my country, the land flows through my veins, not having marched in my boots, I find it so hard to explain. I wear this badge with honor on my country's uniform. Superhero, I've learned the duties I perform. From a working class background, just a regular Kiwi kid, I went to school and played rugby like most of us did. Played make believe war games back when. Every year, the New Zealand Defence Force takes part in the Defence Partnership Programme, providing specialised military training for the Pacific Islands and Southeast Asian nations, utilising the world-class skills of our people in the Defence Force. For military musicians from these nations, the New Zealand Army Band provides 10 months of intense musical training in music theory and practical performance. Formalising their current knowledge, the students form bonds of friendship which carry throughout their career. Under the direction of Senior Instructor Staff Sergeant Nicholas Johnson, the students of 2020 performed the hymn Lloyd. The lyrics are poignant in these times of trial. Middle the traffic of thy ways, turmoil without within, make in my heart a quiet place 
and come and dwell therein. With the outbreak of the Second World War in Europe in September of 1939, New Zealand quickly answered the call. In October 1939, the decision was made to form a Māori military unit. Officially called the 28th Māori Battalion, these men established a formidable reputation as one of New Zealand's finest fighting forces. Their exceptional service in Greece, Crete, North Africa and Italy was recognised by the many honours and awards that the battalion's personnel received, and their reputation in the decades following the war became a source of great pride to the whole of New Zealand. As a tribute to these men who served their nation so faithfully, we present Il Silenzio, incorporating both in a traditional Italian bugle call and the song of the 28th Māori Battalion, Performed by Sergeant Kevin Hickman and the New Zealand Army Band, this work was recorded in Burnham Military Camp prior to the lockdown. <laughs>
In 2008, the New Zealand Army Band was given the honour of composing music for a poem written by a Vietnam War veteran, Lieutenant Colonel retired Chris Mullane. The song fittingly debuted at Tribute 08, the government event honouring the service of our Vietnam War veterans. Over the past decade, the lyrics have struck a real resonance with audiences and the song has often been performed at commemorative ceremonies both in New Zealand and around the world. Please enjoy Poppy and Pahutakawa, performed by Private Bryony Williams and the New Zealand Army Band from our individual isolation bubbles. In August 1914, when Great Britain declared war on Germany, the New Zealand government followed without hesitation. From a population of just over a million, 42% of New Zealand men of military age answered the call of duty and enlisted, serving first in the Gallipoli campaign and then on the Western Front. The Battle of Passchendaele on the 12th of October 1917 is the darkest day in New Zealand's military history, with a death toll unmatched before or since. In three short hours, New Zealand sustained over 3,700 casualties, including 845 dead. A hundred years later, in October 2017, the New Zealand Defence Force commemorated this loss with a ceremony at the cemetery in Polygon Woods in Belgium. Under the baton of the Director of Music, Major Graham Hickman, a combined New Zealand Defence Force band and Māori cultural group 
performed an original work by New Zealand Army Band composer Sergeant Major Dwayne Bloomfield, simply entitled Passchendaele. Sergeant Major Dwayne Bloomfield's composition Passchendaele is a musical depiction of the events that unfolded that day. The six movements are titled Barrage, Reflection, Slaughter, Aftermath, Grief and Requiem. The music opens in the trenches. Young soldiers in the half-light of early morning wait while all around them the artillery barrage. After the barrage, there is a brief moment of stillness. Soldiers have time for a final reflection on home before facing the uncut barbed wire of no man's land 27 meters in front of them. At the sound of the attack whistles, the New Zealand troops surged from the trenches into waist-deep mud. Caught on the barbed wire, they were cut to shreds by German machine gun fire. In three short hours, New Zealand sustained 2,735 casualties. 
more than 900 either dead or mortally wounded on the barbed wire, dying a slow, a painful and a lonely death. Survivors, shocked by the atrocity, grieve for their comrades, while the final letters of the dead, written as they had waited for battle in the trenches, take their sombre journey home to New Zealand. A solemn requiem to the dead honours their bravery and comradeship. The work concludes with the sound every New Zealand household dreaded during the First World War. The telegraph delivery boy knocking on the front door, bringing news of death. A sound heard nearly 2,000 times throughout New Zealand after the October 1917 Passchendaele Battles.
e kore rātou e kaumatua tia. Penei a tātou kua mahua nei, e kore hoki rātou e ngoi kore. Aha koa pēhia e ngā ahua tanga o te wā, i te hekenga atu o te rā, tai noa ki te āranga mai i te ata, kā mau mahara tonu tātou ki a rātou. Kā mau mahara tonu tātou ki a rātou. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. Our next work is a slow march entitled Family of Headstones. The title depicts the graves of New Zealand soldiers lost in combat and buried throughout the world. Each grave is the image of a family carved into the headstone to signify they died serving New Zealand. Although many of these gravestones are named, a great number are not. These are the unknown soldiers lost in battle. On the 6th of November 2004, the remains of an unknown soldier was exhumed from Caterpillar Valley Cemetery in Longueville, France, and returned to New Zealand. Five days later, to the slow march, family of headstones, his remains were solemnly laid to rest in the tomb of the unknown warrior at Pukiahu National War Memorial in Wellington on Armistice Day, 11 November, 2004. I had the privilege to visit the Caterpillar Valley Cemetery in April of 2015 and only weeks later to visit the tomb of the unknown warrior in Wellington. These are poignant memories which I hold dear. 
as the New Zealand Army Band performed the slow march Family of Headstones, especially composed by Sergeant Major Dwayne Bloomfield for the repatriation of the unknown warrior home to New Zealand, I ask you to reflect on the sacrifice of all those who have gone before. The modern retreat ceremony finds its origins in the orders of the Army of King James II of England dated 18 June 1690. The call of retreat to mark the end of the day's fighting was beaten on drums, as were most battle orders at that time. Later in 1764, bugles were introduced as military signalling devices. Over time, these traditions evolved into the modern retreat ceremony, which today consists of a fanfare, flourish for an occasion, followed by the hymn tune St. Clements, drum beatings follow, and the ceremony concludes with Sergeant Kevin Hickman and Corporal Rainer Martin performing the bugle call retreat superimposed over the hymn Sunset.
Thank you for joining us on this very special day. We hope you've enjoyed our contribution. We conclude our Anzac Day commemorative concert with a song that's known throughout the world. In these unprecedented times, wherever you are in the world, please know that we all stand with you. Stay strong. This is Lance Corporal Brian Eckersley and the New Zealand Army Band with You'll Never Walk Alone. Sweet soul.